Hello everybody and welcome to my 23rd VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to nest for loops together. So similarly to your nested if statements the nested for loops are just going to create an extra layer within your your code blocks. So let's get started so we're just going to create a grid of numbers essentially a, a times table so we're going to put in for x equals 1 to 10 and then we're going to put next x and then for y equals 1 to 10 and then next y so what we've done here is we've embedded a for loop within another for loop. So for each run of this loop, it's going to loop through all the values of y as well. So it's essentially going to go x equals 1, and then y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then go on to the next x, x equals 2, and then y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then so on. It's going to do it for each x. So we're essentially going to run whatever's in here a hundred times. So let's use this then. So let's put this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells, and then let's put x comma y because we've got two variables now. So we've got one of them that's going down and one of them that's going across, which is why I've called them x and y. And then dot value equals, and then I'm going to make it equal to x times y. So again, making use of the counters that the for loops provide us, giving us the incrementation through the values, and we're using that again in our code within the for loop. And let's just play this now then. So play, and go to our sheet. And then you'll see it's come out with our times table. So for each one, so it's gone x equals 1, and then it's gone y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's just times x by y for each one. And then as it goes down, it's just kept doing the same thing until eventually it's got to 10, x equals 10, and y equals 10. And then it finishes. And we can make this go as high as we want. So let's go to 500 and then to 500. And then press play and let's see how long this takes. Hopefully not too long because I haven't got that bad a processor. Uh but apparently long enough to still still make it so it's it's quite slow. So and then you look on this and then as we go down you'll see the numbers get rather large and as we go across they get rather large as well. If you're using 2003 this isn't going to work because you can't have that 500 going across so if you get an error when you're using 2003 then that's why but so that's how you would use a nested for loop and again you can go as deep as you like you can keep putting in for loops and just go down as, as far as you like so any questions pop them in the comments below uh, please subscribe to my tutorials if if you're enjoying them or if you're not enjoying them but you just like to subscribe subscribe to things uh on a whimsical so <laughs> thanks for listening i'll catch you in the next tutorial